and the state of 2K, bro, with the the place that we in right now, bro, it's just it's different. You know what I'm saying? Just so to speak, it's just different. All right, it's a healthy elephant in the room, though, and we need to address it. So here we go. Will all of the gameplay features included in NBA 2K24 be supported by the Xbox Series S and the PlayStation smaller counterpart? Let's dive in there. All right, I did some science. I went through a scientific experiment and by my calculations, you should have already liked the video and subscribed to the page because, uh, no, nah, that's not what I was talking about. Hold on, we too early. What I was thinking is as far as the PlayStation, y'all should be cool. Y'all should be really good. Y'all got the same computer in both of your systems, disc and non-disc. The only difference that y'all have is that Blu-ray player. So that's that right there. But when it comes to the Series S and the Series X Xbox, the X has a 12 teraflop processor. The S has a four teraflop processor, processor, excuse me. So I'm pretty sure that should be enough processing power to get everything like running right. But it's no telling, like, to be honest, the way that things are going, the way that 2K is every year on release, you never know, like it's buggy. It's a bugged release. Cause with, as with any game that bugs that have to be worked out, things that have to be fine tuned. There'll be known issues that have to be, you know, patched. I mean, day one is usually kind of sketchy as far as servers and they figuring out what kind of space they need anyway. But my main concern is, will the four teraflop processor in the Xbox Series S be enough power for users to benefit from all the upgraded features and the new features in the base game of NBA 2K24? That's my main concern right now. Me personally, I'm an Xbox Series S owner. That's my main console. That is what I choose to game on for my own reasons, my own personal reasons. I'm broke! And 2K is my main game of choice. But going forward, we really need to discuss the new features included in the game and weigh out the pros and the cons between the Xbox Series S being able to process these features in a desired manner. What sparked this train of thought was a tweet that I saw from a concerned community member and the wheels got to turn in, and this is where we are right now. This We've come here to this point, and we need to dig in and figure out what's what. The tweet in question is from the My Career Heat sub segment, which informs us that we'll be exploring a new stunning tropical backdrop and getting a chance to flex our custom personalized style in our all-new beachfront city. And it specifies that this is for PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. See what I did? Notice that they did not say X slash S. Now, the tweeter from Twitter noticed that Xbox Series S was not included. And he asked, can it not handle cross play or certain features or was this a mistake? Now, I feel like this is a very prominent question that needs very detailed answers as soon as possible. Now, the easiest outcome for us right now would be for a developer or someone in the know to come out and let us know if we should look towards upgrading our systems or if the Series S is going to have enough processing power to keep us away from the fritz. The last thing as the Xbox Series S owner that I need to be going through on launch day or going forward is the fritz and being on the fritz or on the spectrum of fritz and having to go back and play old gen because we don't have the processing power for new gen. That would be terrible. So I would like to know in advance if we as Xbox S owners would need to go ahead and upgrade our systems or go over to the PlayStation side, because it seems like PlayStation is the safe bet right now. Weigh in in the comment section if you're an Xbox S user, if this is a concern for you too, or if you can see where I'm coming from in this situation. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.